let's say if there's any questions. Anybody has any questions either? Okay, yes. Hi, hey, Zuzu. Jen. You Hi. By, are you going by Zuzu? Susanna. Susanna. It was Hi. very short to write. Thank you very much. It was really like, like revealing and it gave me a lot of answers today. Um, I have a few questions, like uh, this what you have been describing, it's in Buddhism, like going to Nirvana afterwards. And I want to know, not know, but would it, your thoughts on it, it's just comparable, this uh, 5D and Nirvana, because uh, it can take the connection, like the whole life, to get to know the real me does it make yeah. sense what i am yeah. right yeah the the 5d the fifth dimensional consciousness and the nirvana the same they are different languages we're using we're pointing out and we're pointing out to the same thing sure so uh it can take like more years or more time to get to know my real me and uh, do we have the time yeah i mean <laughs> you do because the what happens is when this activation happens and the desire gets really strong and your attention starts to go towards the heart of awareness okay it, you, you have to understand that also the force of love, that which has created you, is completely in alignment and is pulling you back in. So I was... time, time, space, it stops because this is beyond time. The mind can't understand it, Susanna. The mind doesn't understand the way of the heart. I was struggling to really get to know me, like in the real way. And uh, everything that I have seen in my visions was uh, a fire. Only fire. Well, uh, and smoke. You... First was a smoke, now it's a fire. Okay. And I don't know if it's just like my ego playing around, the mind is playing around because it's trying to distracting you, of course. So how real is this? How I trusting myself? Like, so what, what do you mean fire, you know? When I'm focusing inwards, right? On me right. in meditation. Right. So first was everywhere was a smoke around me. It was like three weeks ago and 14 days ago was smoke, smoke, smoke around me. It's a vision probably only my mind. I don't know what is that. Now it's coming to that point that I see a fire all over me. Okay. All over. And then when I try to just examine that, so I'm engaging with my mind, don't I? Does it make sense to you what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So let me, let me put it this way. Who is the one to whom do these images appear? Who sees them? Cannot you, identify you, that it's me. You, you're the one who sees these images, correct? Yeah. They appear to you. And then what happens to them after? They disappear. Well, I'm going somewhere else. I'm going above that. So it's just another image is appearing. Well, let me ask, are they there right now? Do you see them? No, now I see you. Okay. So they appeared and then they disappeared, correct? Yeah. Right. But who stayed? I didn't get there. I don't, huh? I don't, okay. I cannot. All right. Let me, let me go over this again. You're here and you're the one who's observing 
witnessing these images. So you're sitting in silence, you're meditating or whatever, and then all of a sudden you have all these images appearing in front of you, correct? Mm -hmm. And then after they go, the one who's observing is still here. Now there's nothing to observe or it's nothingness. Then you come and you're looking at me and we're talking. Now you're observing me. Something else is appearing in front of you. And then it goes away. But who, in all this time, who's remaining the same? You, the observer. I understand the Right. The observer, I understand. Rem the observer remains the observer, correct? Yeah. Keep your attention on the observer, not what it's being observed. Don't get distracted. Keep your attention on you, the one that is aware, but not what she is aware of. If you put your attention on what rises and goes, then you're engaged with the world. Because yeah. again, you're engaged with what comes and goes. If you don't pay attention to that and don't give it any importance and bring your attention to you, the one who's aware, the one who's observing, not what is being observed, then this one doesn't come and go. It's always the same. Keep your attention, keep your focus on that one. Stay still. Okay. Yeah. It's a very thin line there, but uh, yeah. It is, but it's it doable. Yeah. It gets easier as you recognize it. So that's what I talk about. Be silent and be still. Stay still. It means you keep your attention on one pointedness. You're very Zen. You just keep attention on the one who is observing, not what is going in the field, not what's coming and going, but the one who is aware of it. You just keep focused on that one because that one doesn't come and it doesn't go. And then slowly, slowly you get used to keeping your attention on what is still, what, what, what is that which doesn't come and go. You keep your attention on that one. Then the things that come and go start to lose their reality. They start to lose their grip. You start to see them that they're not really real. 